Wickens. Whoa, Wickens. Whoa, Hey, 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 everyone, Rosbevsky here, and welcome back to our Pokemon Y Wonderlock. I'm sitting on this random person's bed. I have no idea why I am here. I have woken up with the most terrific of hangovers. I went out and celebrated the fact that we managed to grab the fourth sexy gym badge of our Kalos adventure against Ramos in the previous episode without losing any of our friends as well. So that is absolutely fantastic. I'm going to sneak out of this house before the people get a little bit creeped out that I've just slept on their daughter's bed. Anyway, let's get out of here. We want to be carrying on with the adventure, hopefully get ourselves another wonder trade as we receive a hollow clip. I wonder who this is from. Oh, it's Lysander, is it? Professor Sycamore told me you can now wield Mega Evolution. That is truly wonderful. With that power, you can steer your future in a better direction. We can't just cover up the old filth with new, sexier filth. I implore you to consider what we need to do to change the world into a new, beautiful world. <sighs> That guy is intense, I've got to tell you that. It's that red flame in here that just makes him get all fiery down deep in his giblets. Anyway, let's speak to this. I need to get to Lubio City, but the gate is closed due to a power outage. How could a power outage happen anyway? I mean, the Kalos power plant is right there on Route 13. That's a good, where we're going to go. Oh! Oh, it's these guys! It's these, these Welsh guys. It's actually hard speaking. Right. Prepare your ears if you don't like swearing. Prepare them. How fucking dare you keep us waiting? Yeah, bitch. What the fuck do you think you're wearing anyway? Little hot pants on a top, you thought? Haha, <laughs> just kidding, trainer. We weren't really waiting on you. No, we fucking were. She's late again. We were on our way to the power plant at Professor Sigmo's request, but the gate connecting Lumio City to the Route 13 has been shut by a mysterious power outage. We have to investigate. Hey, so there's fucking Central Kalos and there's ca uh, Coastal Kalos fucking right. Can you tell me what fucking comes next? No, we can't, you little shit. I'm just going to give you the answer because she's just going to prattle on with the swearing the whole time. I'm very sorry about her. She's not had her meds this morning. So I'm going to take this opportunity and power up your Pokédex again. Pass it over here, little girly. Okay, so we've uh, got the ca Mountain Kalos region added to our Pokédex. Thank you. The Mountain Kalos Pokedex has been added to your Pokedex menu. Just tap it to check it out, okay? You fucking know you look different somehow. Your face seems more slattish. Have you got extra makeup on with all those thought clothing? You're just going out there trying to tease all the boys about old man Ramos about had a fucking heart attack when he saw your teeth eyes. Haha, <laughs> just joshing with you. I know I'm fucking not. I'm off. Fuck you, you shit. Well... Hasn't she just got the most foulest of mouth on her? Anyway, Route 13, the Badlands. Gotta get down on the Badlands. Let's pop on our bike real quick. Trying to avoid everybody just now. What I'll do in between this episode and the next one, I'll do a working and twerking grinding montage uh, so that we can uh, come around and basically pick up all the items. We just want to get to straight to the, the power plant or whatever it is along here. But here's our first capture. Well, not capture, but our first encounter for this area. And it is a thug trio. Okay, so we're leading off with Dragon Air. What is the best way to go about this? The best course of action. We're level 36 compared to its level 28. I thought we're probably best to come in with Haunter. I bought some Ultra Balls off screen um, in the town just up there, Comarine City. So, uh, I say town. It may as well be a town. It's not really a city. It's tiny. You go for the Sucker Punch, but it fails. Absolutely fantastic. If you could try and go for that again, it's going to fail because we're going to go for the Hypnosis real quick. And the tree avoided the attack. Mud Bomb is uh, not going to affect us. This is why it's great having Rick Gasly on our party. Never going to give you up. Never going to let you down. Going to put you to sleep with hypnosis. I'm going to chuck an Ultra Ball at your three dick face. And I'm going to want to trade for something awesome. Okay, now we're going to go straight into the Ultra Balls. And hopefully, 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 hopefully capture this. This beautiful, beautiful Thug Trio without too much of an issue. Look at him! Thug Trio is such a... I'm just trying to think, is it a good design or not? Some people say it's a lazy design, just like Magnemite evolving into Magneton. It's just three... It's just three dittos. Dittos? Dicklets! 
may as well be Dells, if you know what I mean. But there we go, we've got nice experience, Doug Trio's uh, Pokedex entry was added to our uh, owner for some mountain region Pokedex. Anyway, extremely powerful, they can dig through even the hardest of ground to a depth of... We can make this sexy, right? Extremely powerful. They can dig through even the hardest ground to depths of over 60 meters. Maybe that was sexy, maybe it wasn't. I don't know if you guys let me know. Oh, man. Okay, so let's keep... Uh... Let's jump back on our bike because I think what we need to do is pop along here. And this guy's lost his key card. Where is it? I'm sure it's over here somewhere. There we go. Power plant pass. Let's just pick up that sugar tea. Is Oh, she got the brains as well as the beauty. And um, what were these guys? I'm a member of style. Uh, oh, oh, mate. I'm a member of style. It's Team Flair. And I'm going to win in style. Well, Team Flair, I've got something right up my sleeve, and it's called a Dragonair, and this bastard, Houndoom! Houndoom! Right, what's Houndoom gonna do against this? Uh, fire moves and dark moves, we are gonna resist the fire moves, and the dark moves aren't gonna do too much. Does this guy get Sucker Punch? I don't know. We're gonna go for the Dragon Dance real quick, and then we're gonna go for uh, some Aqua Jet, and hopefully destroy this Houndoom. I was thinking about doing the Power Plant off screen, but I kinda like this Power Plant. It's, it's, it's quite short, it's not too long, and then what I'll do is I'll go around Route 13 afterwards, in between the episodes. Burned! Oh, you dirty bastard. Right, okay, let's heal that burn up real quick. We don't want uh, we don't want our poor dragon air. We haven't got shed skin to uh, get rid of that, so we need a uh, status healing. Thank you very much, Raz. And uh, we should have got some burn heals somewhere. Oh, we don't got any burn heals. We got full heal. Fuck it, looks like we're using a full heal. Why have I not burned any burn heals? That doesn't, that doesn't seem like something that I would do. Usually, I'm quite good when it comes to shopping. Uh, Houndoom's gonna use Bite, that is fine. We're gonna see how much the Aqua Jet does now. Oh, our health is not great. That's the one thing about Dragonair that I'm not 100% a fan of, is the fact that Dragonair is pretty damn weak. Oh, so close! Uh, you go for your Bite again, I'm just gonna Aqua Jet and finish you off, I reckon. No problems at all. And then, what I'll do is, when we find out what the next Pokemon is, I'll either Hyper Potion us up, or I will switch into somebody else, depending on the, uh, the situation. But while we're going through this battle, guys, let's go to the question of the day. I'm nice in seven minutes, and we'll get the question of the day over and done with. Well, I say over and done with. It's nice to get chatting whilst we've got a little bit of time. Okay, Golba is coming in now. Let's just go for the heal real quick. I think that's going to be a little bit better. Where are we? I'm sure we've got super potions out the ass. Yes, we do. Um, so, question of the day, as always, is asked by you guys, so let me know in the comment section below a question for the next week's episode, and we can move on to today's. Today's question is by Thomas Gillen. Thank you very much, Thomas. And Thomas asks, what is your favorite evolution? Evolution? What is your favorite evolution and why? Why, 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 why? So my favorite evolution is going to be Vaporeon. One is one of the original three from the very, very start of the game. And it's a water type Pokemon. I absolutely love it. Design wise, it's sexy as well. I mean, it gets that like, that nice dolphin tail style thing as well, which is absolutely fantastic. Let's get in there. Let's extreme speed. Don't hit yourself in confusion. Don't hit yourself in confusion. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. There we go. Sweet, sweet Dragonair getting all that experience. Yes, I love it. I love water Pokemon. And I love the fact it is a bulky water Pokemon. You give it a bold nature and it can absolutely wreck house. Give it acid armor. And it's absolutely fantastic in a baton pass team. Because you, you boost up the boost up your defenses and then switch on to somebody else. I used to do oh when I used to play Showdown a lot, I used to have a baton pass team to, to piss people off. And if you could get the sweep off perfectly, it was it was a really, really good Pokemon. Add Scald into that mix and you got fantastic. Fantastic evolution right there. Let me know in the comment section below what your favorite evolution is and why. Ah, you shit. What? And now I'll stylishly run away. Oh, fuck. Where's my power plant pass? Ah, how in the world do you have a power plant pass? Aha, I'll make a stylish deduction. You picked up the power plant pass I dropped when I was checking out that big boulder. What were you doing beside a big boulder? What are you doing beside a big boulder, you dirty, dirty man? You dirty man. Okay, right, so Dragonair is level 37. Now, let's bring somebody else into the fray. So we've got level 37, level 37 for Infernape. We've got level 39 for Rick Gasly. We've got level 39 for our, our beautiful little guy there. I think we should actually probably pop Larvitar in the front of the party. Give it the experience share. I think that's going to be the best, because Larvitar really needs to uh, start 
uh, getting some levels up. Let's switch no, uh, to the front of the party. Yep. And we need the experience share item. And uh, move that into the front. Um, give the EVI to Dragon Air. Actually, that works fine. And then we can use the rest of the, the, the party to uh, kill all of the enemies off. I think that's going to be the best scenario. I hate the wind here, though. The wind here is one of the reasons why I, I was going to do it all on the working and twerking grinding montage. But I figured that we could actually get here really, really quickly anyway. So let's get straight inside of the power plant and the Kalos region power plant. And the music, guys. This is my favorite song in the whole game. It just makes me want to get down and groove. Uh, uh. No, no, who's there? Uh, Razbowski or Sugar Tea? Oh my god. No, 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 no. Seriously, who the fuck are you? Only authorized personnel are allowed in here. Prepare to die. So we've got a lot of battles in here, if I remember correctly. So the Team Flare Grunt is going to come and challenge us with a Scraggy. So that's going to be a very, very bad choice for our Larvitar. And anyway, we're probably quite a lot of levels. Yeah, we're le twin, uh, uh, 12 levels lower. I was going to say 22 levels lower, but that would be terrible math right there. So, what move is this kind of guy going to go for? Let's go. Let's bring Rick Gasly in real quick. I think Rick Gasly should be able to take this guy on because we don't really want to bring in Gardevoir because Gardevoir could be taken out by dark moves. And, oh, actually, so good Rick Gasly, to be honest. Payback. Oh, Rick. Oh, Rick. That wasn't good. Let's put this guy to sleep. Oh, no. Psychic move won't work on it at all, will it? What should we do, Rick? We don't want to lose you, man. Shadow Ball going to kill it. Venoshock. Let's try Venoshock. I have got the the poison barb on, uh, on us, so we should be able to take it out. There we go. Goodbye, Scraggles. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. We're going to get some decent experience there for our Larvitar. Oh, very decent indeed. I like that, I like that. I thought Larvitar really needs to start getting some decent levels up here. So Krogunk is in now. Poison and uh, you better shudder. You better shudder, right? Let's switch. Actually, no. That's the problem with us now. We can't really switch train anymore. That's the that's the issue. We can't switch train anymore. Because I couldn't bring in Larvitar then. Because Larvitar would... Larvitar might have taken a, a fighting type move. Oh god, everybody's just missing. Okay, Honor, Honor, Rick Astley, never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down. I'm gonna use hypnosis and put you to sleep. Fantastic. Then I'm gonna eat your soul. I'm gonna eat your dreams. Gonna regain my health and super affect you. Yes, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's dream here. Let's eat his dreams. You try to go for sucker punch again, you sexy bastard. Let's eat your dreams. Mmm, delicious. Your dreams, Krogunk, taste of frog spawn and lily pads. Mm, that is good. That is real good. Anyway, let's keep going. So, we're basically going to get the experience for our Larvitar for the first battle. And then we can just... Mm, the next person up will get the experience, so that's pretty good. Anyway, not bad, not bad. It's a shame we can't just turn the experience share on for one Pokemon. That's why um, it, it was just a little bit overpowered. It was just a little bit overpowered. I don't think anybody gives us anything in here just now. Everybody just tells us to go and fucking save the day. So we're going to do that. We're going to go and save the day for you guys. And this girl, this sexy female, is going to uh, try and... Um, she's basically giving us a little bit of smack talk because we're going to be uh, taking them all on by ourselves. Krogunk, come at me, bro. Come at me, bro, Gunk. And let's see what's going on. You're not going to shudder for us, are you? Oh, level 31. You're not shuddering at all to this Larvitar. Let's just bring in Haunter again. Rick Gasly is going to come in again because we're going to eat up all your dreams once more. I think that's going to be the best scenario possible. Guys, just to let you know, so, some people have been asking about Pixelmon. Yes, Pixelmon will be coming back at some point as um, as will Pokemon Zeta. At the moment, we're concentrating on the, the Y Wonder Lock because we're going to be coming up to Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire very, very soon, which is absolutely... I just cannot wait. I cannot wait to do it. And that's why I'm playing through this game, Pokemon X and Y, because it's leading us in nicely, I, I feel, to um, the, the, the brand new games as we return to Hoenn. But also, Pixelmon is getting kind of stale. It's getting kind of boring. I'm waiting for some more updates. I'm waiting for our massive update to come in. There's a breeding update going to be coming in very shortly, so we might start bringing it back to the channel when that breeding is implemented, because then we can start... Uh, uh, getting uh, getting our Pokemon Jiggle on, and we can uh, start expanding our house a little bit more, expanding the secret base. We're going to make a breeding farm as well, which is going to be absolutely fantastic. But right now, 
right now there's no point in me doing that because it's going to be the same stuff over and over again. We really need to start trying to find some legendary Pokemon. And in fact, we can actually um, alter where the, the Pokemon spawn and their spawn rates as well. So I might have a little go at that just so we can actually see what some of these uh, legends are in the wild. Because I played a lot of it off screen. I went to try and uh, record an episode about a week ago to be honest. And I, I, I went around for about two hours and I didn't get a legendary Pokemon and that was what I, that's what we really need to be doing next. So when the breeding comes in When the breeding comes in that is when we're gonna be uh, That's when That's when we get some episodes back when the breed event, breeding is implemented again And I've already been discussing with uh, somebody else or maybe a joint Pokemon uh, Maybe a joint series as well, so we'll have to we'll have to have a little think about that. Uh, something we're we're trying to d discuss the logistics of it and maybe getting a, some sort of server on the go. But we'll just see. We'll just see. Anyway, let's bring Magnet on in for the mag. Uh, the, 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 the. Hopefully he's not got fighting moves. But does my Iena get a uh, superpower? Oh, you just got a roar. That's fantastic. Who are you bringing in? Don't bring back in Larvitar. Haunter. That's not particularly good, is it? Because Mighty Enna is power. Mighty Enna is power. Let's go for the Vino Shock. We are pretty damn powerful, so at least it didn't go for the Sucker Punch there. We are pretty damn powerful. Is it going to do enough? There we go. Goodbye, Mighty Enna. That was your fault. You should have roared in Rick Gastly. Not the power of this guy is level 40. We are pretty high level with Rick Gastly. Pretty damn high level, but... There's not really much I can do, uh, uh, to be honest. I already switched out Granbull because people weren't liking the fact that Granbull was in the party. Why was there so much hate for Granbull? I loved her. She was amazing. Everybody said I kept relying on her. But I'm trying to level up the rest of the party evenly now. So, so that's why she's not with us just now. And I might have to do the same with some of the other guys because apparently we're going to be over leveled with them as well. But we will just see. We will... We'll just, we'll just, we'll just see. It all depends, it all depends. But yeah, Pixel 1 will be coming back fairly shortly when Breeden is implemented. Apparently, it was meant to be really soon, but they kind of pushed back the date for that just a tiny, tiny little bit. Um, and we'll see, we'll see what happens after that. Let's bring, I can't bring in Gardevoir. Gardevoir won't be able to do anything to Scraggy. Infernape could come in. And Magneton can come in. I don't want to... Let's bring Dragonair in. Let's actually bring Dragonair in. Because Dragonair is the lowest level out of the rest of them. I don't want to just rely on the same Pokemon over and over again. Plus, with Dragonite with the evil light. You've got to boost the defenses up a little bit more. Payback. Obviously, Scraggy doesn't get Sucker Punch. And we... Oh, that was a crit hit. And we ate that up. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, let's go for... Let's go for the Dragon Tail real quick. Let's get rid of this guy. You go for the chip away if you want. Are we slower than that Scraggy? That's a bit ridiculous, and it just wasn't enough, but that's fine because we're going to eject you from battle anyway, sweet, sweet Scraggles, and that's going to be good for getting experience on both Lar... No. Will it get experience on both Larvitar? I don't think it will. Anyway, doesn't matter. Let's go for the Dragon Tail again. Let's just try and get rid of this Golbat. Air Cutter. Golbat sprite in this game is fantastic. What else was I wanting to talk about? Today's episode was more of a catch-up episode. I also wanted to talk about the horror games. You guys seem to be enjoying that, which is fantastic because I love recording horror games. I think they're... Uh, they just bring something else to the channel. The fact that we've got some horror games and obviously Halloween is going to be coming up before we know it. It's going to be coming up in uh, just over a month now. So I can't wait for ha Halloween to come out. I've got some very, very special episodes lined up for Halloween and the run up to Halloween as well. You guys will really, really enjoy it. Whether you're a Pokemon fan or a horror fan, they're going to be good. They're going to be real good. And... Uh, just having the extra stuff on the channel is fantastic. I really like the, the way that everything is, is boosted along like that. And uh, we'll, we'll be seeing, we'll, uh, horror is definitely going to be staying to the channel. Pokemon is definitely going to be the priority. And you will always be seeing a Pokemon episode every single day. But um, I like having the horror there for those of you who like that as well. These battles are taking a fucking age. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to insert our little work in a twerking grinding montage right in here. Right in the middle of the episode because we really, really just need to get through this. Now critical hit you bastard. Good job you snapped out of confusion. Dragon tail that fuck. And uh, let's, uh, ooh, so close to finishing it off. Let's just go straight for the extreme speed and finish it off. And I will see you guys in a few.
Okay, I am back and I hate Swalots. Holy ass, poison Pokemon can get, well, they can go straight in the toilet. They can be flushed away. I don't really care anymore. Let's just get into this. Oh, how much longer? If you just, in, if you're just interested in the facts, I'd say we already have enough energy to power the device. Good, let's finish here and move out. There's still much more work to be done. What other word do you mean? Mm, perhaps you mean taking out that annoying little Pokemon trainer over there. Ugh, what's this? I don't think anyone remained here after we dealt with the workers. Alright then, Kojak, let's go for it. Let's, I hope you, you better not have a Swallow on your team. You better not have a Swallow on your team, Mr. Bald Man. Hound Doom, okay, I can take on a Hound Doom. Oh, or can I actually? Fuck, I don't know. Mm. Well, we can't take you on with Larvitar, so let's move out. Eh, probably Magneton's probably the best bet, so let's bring in Magneton real quick. Luckily, our Larvitar has had quite a lot of experience from coming in here, so that's absolutely fantastic. Leveling up too close to the rest of the guys. I mean, not amazingly, but it's, it's getting up there. It's get I hate how Steel doesn't resist Dark anymore. Oh, it would have been so much better that way. Okay, Home Doom, let's... Uh, Let's level the playing fields a little bit with a, a cheeky thunder wave. You can identify me all you want, sweet, sweet Hound Doom. But we're going to go for the thunder wave here. Should we go for Parafusion? Should we be just as annoying as they have been? Mm, I don't think so. I don't think so. This Hound Doom isn't going to turn mega anytime soon. So I think we could probably just go for the Electro Ball and, uh, and, and, and do a, a nice, nice amount of damage straight to this guy's face. Hopefully that uh, we're going to be faster than it now, but I don't know how much that affects with an Electro Ball. Oh, so close! Beat up! Is that a fighting type move? Oh, I don't know. I don't, I don't even know what beat up is! I've been playing this game for years and I don't know what the move beat up is. It doesn't matter though, because we're just going to go straight for the Electro Ball and uh, this Hound Doom is a ba ba and we're like, Hound gone! That's a terrible joke. That's a terrible, terrible joke. But there we go. Oh, great hit. Why couldn't we get that first time, Magnemite? We really need a nickname for you, Magnemite. I don't know why. I have. Sparkles? Sparkies? Sparkles is our, 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 our Pikachus if we get them. Um, we need we need some kind of spark and uh, magnets. Uh, uh, Magmarizer. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, well, this bald guy is taking... Whoa. Well, I'm sorry. It's all right, man. Calm down. Although, when I when I if I ever lost on, uh, lose a Nuzlocke, I'm exactly like that. Just like Pokemon Zia. Oh, we're gonna get an evolution! Perfect timing for coming back on the screen. We're gonna get ourselves a Poopita. We're gonna get ourselves a Poopita. We're gonna fire the evil light on that guy, and he's gonna be strong as fuck. This episode's all about the singing. You gotta hear my uh, beautiful singing voice during this. I can't sing for shit, by the way. But there we go, we got Pupitar. Absolutely fantastic. We. Um, now uh, have quite a good Pokemon on our hands, bulky defensively, so could probably handle his own a little bit better than a Larvitar would anyway. But we've got this female to take on now. Oh yeah, girl and girl action. Scientists, take care of this pesky intruder. <laughs> it would be my pleasure. Come on, little trainer, let's see what you've got. Oh. Oh, you thought I was gonna show you my boobies. You thought I was gonna show boobies, but I'm not gonna not not, not showing any skin anytime soon. Which reminds me, actually, I've got a uh, 10,000 subscriber special on the way soon. Thank you very much to everybody who has subscribed and watching all the videos. It really, really means a lot to me, and the fact that we've hit 10,000 is fantastic as well. I've got a, a subscriber special um, in the mix and ready to be ready to be uh, filmed. I, I, it hasn't been filmed yet. But I have a plan for it, and it's going to be something real nice, and maybe even something a little bit special later on as well. So keep your eyes out for that, you sexy bastards. So we're going to lead off a mighty inner, and we're we'll bringing in our Pupita because we're going to get the nice lucky egg experience. And you can intimidate us all you want because that's going to be doing nothing to us. And then we're just going to use the same tactic as before: bring Magneton in, uh, paralyze that guy, and then uh, go to town with the Electro Ball. Ball in twenty-four-seven. I'm so glad. Do you know what? I am actually... Oh, swagger. I don't like that tactic. I don't like that tactic, you bastard. I don't like that at all. Um, What was I going to say? What was I going to say? I'm glad I didn't just keep this episode running. And I, I, I'm glad that I'm going to have sped up the footage. Because we're running on 40 minutes at this point, And there's no way that this episode is worth 40 minutes. Like, I know you guys love watching the videos and love the chat at the same time. But... 40 minutes is a long time to be sitting watching them um, pointless battles. It's nice to get a couple of battles in there and a nice little bit of chat. And I mean, we did get to cover, cover uh, Pixelmon, we got to cover 
Pokemon Zeta, that'll be back at some point as well. I've got a load of grinding to do on that, and I've just been... Not really been motivated to do the, that, but it, it will be coming at some point. Damn it, my Annie, you piece of shit. Swaggering and roaring. Infernape. Okay, Infernape, let's just do this. Let's just go straight for the close combat and finish it off. He, if he wants to mess about with us, let's do it. If he wants to mess about with us, let's just do it. The only reason I don't bring a... This guy in first because I don't know how defensively it will be able to take some of the hits. So there you are. Bye. Fuck you. If you were to mess about with me like that, mess about with me, then let's do that. Pupitar goes up to level 31. Not bad. Is it level 55 we get Tyranitar? I think so. something about that. But either way, when we get Tyranitar, that's going to be amazing. You're quite strong. Oh, yes. Very strong indeed. Uh, oh, I can't wait to go shopping again. When, as soon as we get back to Lumios, we'll... We're probably going to go on another little shopping screen just to let you know. <laughs> well, I certainly didn't expect you to be so interesting. I do hope we can meet again. Oh, girl, we are going to meet again. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Oh, well, look who it is. Mr. Sweary and Mrs. Sweary. Oh, my. Uh, right. Oh, my. Right. Who is speaking? Which one of them? Well, isn't that a theme? You chased off that bunch of mysterious fuckers before we could even get here? Well, I guess there's always room for more defenders of Kalos. Right, let me hear your Pokemon as a fucking thanks. Can't really tell who's speaking. You and your Pokemon are the ultimate team, no doubt about it. But don't push yourself too hard here. Take these. Thank you very much for the four oh, full restores as well. Thank you, you beautiful man. Thanks to you, the power is back on Lumio City. Now people can pass through the gate or connecting Route 13 to Lumio City again. Right, well, I fucking think us mysterious people will be off now. I fucking leave before being left. What? I leave before being left. I decide. Au revoir, you shit. Well, there was no need to be as rude as that, but... Let's get the funky music back. There we go. There we go. Let's end off with a bit. Well, let's end off with a bit of funky music. In the next episode, guys, we're going to be taking on the fifth Kalos Gym Badge Challenge. Hopefully, you get to twerk along to a nice working and twerking grinding montage because I'll have to go around Route 13 collecting all of the items up. So get your booty ready for that. Do some do some squat thrusts. Do some, do, do some general warm-up moves and you'll be all good in the hood. But if you enjoyed today's episode, guys, then please hit that like button. It's nice to get a little bit of chat on the go. It's kind of like an almost like an update video at the same time as uh, one of the Pokemon episodes and we kicked Team Flare's ass once again. So hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed and I'll see you in the next episode. I've been Razbowski, you've been the beautiful bastards as always for watching and I love each and every single one of you. Goodbye.